The three most popular trading strategies are the moving average crossover, the relative strength index reversal, and the price action breakout. So today we are going to use code like this to test the statistics of these trade strategies and see what actually works and what doesn't. Starting with the simple moving average crossover strategy. Now listen, I've been building codified trading strategies within Thinkorswim for over six years now. So I have lots of experience with building out codes around all three of these sort of trade ideas. That's going to help you all out a lot because it's going to save us a lot of time. I know already the best way to go about trading these sort of strategies. So instead of wasting your all's time and making this video an hour long, pretending like I need to explain it, I'm just going to tell you what I have found to be the most useful ways to trade these strategies. I say all that because the first important decision we need to come up with is the lengths of our simple moving averages. A lot of beginner traders struggle with this. Yes, I should buy when a faster moving average crosses above a slower, but what lengths should I use? The two lengths that I find to be the most useful in an SMA crossover strategy is the short length to be the 50 and the long length to be the 200, which is what I have set up on my chart behind my head here. So all I have to do now is hop on into the strategies tab and let's actually turn on our moving average crossover strategy. This is actually a strategy that I have already made and actually already published on my website. Thus meaning I've actually found some pretty good success with this strategy. Let's also turn on my custom backtest label study that I have built that will show you the statistics of said strategy in the top left. We're running this here on the SPY daily chart, meaning we are essentially swing trading the entire market, the S&P 500, and these are the statistics. You're up $158,000 on a 72% win rate with a max drawdown percentage of only 10%. That is a very healthy number to see in a back test. Strategy actually doing it is entering long when your 50 length simple moving average crosses over your 200 length. It is then holding the trade until the opposite happens. That 50 comes back below the 200 as you can see in this trade example here and actually the trade has re-entered a few months ago on this bull run for the market. Trade on think or swim? You're about to change how you trade forever. I've published 150 plus custom codes. These codes change changed my trading career forever and the lives of thousands of paying members. And the best part is you don't need to know how to code at all. If you can copy and paste, then you can import all of the codes from my site into your thinkorswim. So head on over to daytradingstrategies.net and go check out the free codes available on the site. On this page is also a one minute video tutorial showcasing exactly how it works. The next strategy we'll talk about is the RSI reversal strategy. And once again, luckily for you, I actually already have a built and published trading strategy around this as well. So let's dive into the rules of that. So of course, when you turn on the relative strength index study or the RSI, the idea here is that you are going to enter when the RSI is oversold and you are going to sell when the RSI is overbought. Well, I actually like to adjust these levels. Once again, just like I've been building codes for years now, I have found what I think to be the best lengths to use for the simple moving average strategy that we mentioned. I have the same thing for the RSI. So I changed my overbought level down from 70 to 60, and I changed my oversold level up from 30 to 40. So really, I'm just kind of tightening up the bands here a little bit on the relative strength index to define what is oversold and what is overbought. Then quite obviously, we build out a codified trading strategy that enters long when the relative strength index crosses below 40 and exits said position when the relative strength index crosses above 60. However, I have two more tricks up my sleeve when it comes to this strategy. First off, you'll notice this cyan line is also being plotted on the chart, which this represents is the 200 length simple moving average. Another condition for my buy entrance of the strategy is that the current candle must also be above 
the 200 length simple moving average. You'll notice here, if we go back and look at the bear market of 2022, you will notice that it didn't enter any trades down here. Like, yes, the RSI is breaking below 40, but because the stock is also below the 200 length simple moving average, it is not entering these positions. Now check this out. I still have one more very important trick up my sleeve when it comes to playing this relative strength index reversal strategy that I have found to make it much more profitable and with a much higher win percentage. So coming into the global strategy settings here from my edit studies modal, I am going to allow up to 10 entry orders in the same direction. Watch what happens to my statistics when I do this. Listen, obviously the total PL is going to go up because we're going to be putting more money in the trades. That's not even the most important part though. Take a look at the win percentage. Take a look at the max drawdown percentage. Currently sitting at 85% win percentage, 9% max drawdown. As I run it now with this scaling in sort of platform, the win percentage jumps up to 92%. The max drawdown cuts more than half all the way down to only 4%. So now what is happening up to 10 times, as long as the two entrance conditions of RSI less than 40 stock above 200 length simple moving average is true, the strategy will scale into the position. Basically, the thesis here is that timing the bottom on dips is virtually impossible given a large enough sample size. So instead of putting your entire position size in at the beginning, you put one tenth of your position size in and you allow up to 10 scale ins as long as those buy-ins are true i mean look at where the first entrance happens on this trade the first entrance is about 504.80 and the stock dips all the way down to 494.75 that first entrance is not a very good one but because you're scaling in you still get to buy all the way down to that level here your first entrance is at 538 and a half the stock dips all the way down to 509 once again, the first entrance is not a good one, but because you're scaling in, you're still able to capture most of this upside move. I know the point of this video is just to test the three most popular trading strategies. I just want to say quickly that I have found this scaling in method to be the most useful way to enter really any type of reversal trading situation. So feel free to use this scaling in idea, whether it be this RSI strategy or some other reversal strategy that you trade. Third and final strategy we're going to test in today's video is the simple price action breakout strategy. This might be the strategy a lot of you all have been looking the most forward to because it's going to involve no studies, none of those fancy equations, nothing like that. It is just simply when the stock breaks a local all-time high, we will be looking to enter long. And wouldn't you know it, I already have a built-in published strategy for this setup as well. Let's dive into the entrance and exit conditions now. The cyan line on this chart represents the highest high value out of the last 20 bars. And obviously, if we have a candle close up and above that level, that is the entrance condition for this strategy. We are breaking out of a local high level. And I don't have the exit line plotted on the chart, but we then use that same length number, in this case being 20, as our exit condition. When the current candle breaks down below the lowest low value out of the last 20 candles, that is when we get stopped out of our trades. Just as I mentioned with the reversal strategy, how I find scaling into positions really seems to work for any reversal type strategy, this exit condition I have found to be the best for any continuation type strategy. Basically, don't set a profit target. Don't have a place where you're going to stop letting a stock run. If you are buying strength, let the strength continue, continue, continue for as long as it can. Let it prove to you that it is no longer strong before you get stopped out of the trade. And of course, this works for both winners and it also works as a useful stop loss as well. So it works for both sides of the trade conditions. Now, I didn't showcase this on the previous two strategies, but I just want to show you quickly. I make every single code that I publish as customizable as possible. Because I know that everybody that is either already signed up to my website or those of you that will sign up after today's video 
you're going to have slightly different trading goals. So you're going to want to use my codes slightly differently. So if you come into the settings cog of any of the strategy, any of the study, any of the scanner codes on my website, you will find easily adjustable parameters. That length parameter being we buy when it breaks over the highest high out of the last 20 and sell when it closes below the lowest low out of the last 20, you could very easily adjust that. Say you wanna look for longer term trade, just bump it up to 100, go ahead and hit apply, and you can take a look now at how the entire chart has changed, how all the statistics have changed around that. It actually looks to be on the SPY daily chart. It actually looks like it got a little bit better. The max drawdown did at least when bumping that number up. But I just wanted to showcase that too. I make all my codes as customizable as possible because once again, I know all of my signed up members are going to want to use them just a little bit differently. Speaking of, if you'd like to sign up and access these codes, they are all available alongside over 150 plus other codes over on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. I will put the names of these three strategies in the description down below this video as well. I get asked a lot like Trey, please clarify what codes you're talking about in your YouTube videos because you have so many on your website, they can be a little hard to find. So I'm gonna start doing that. Whatever codes I talk about in my YouTube videos, I will link down in the description so those of you already signed up can easily find them. Anyway, daytradingstrategies.net access the strategies we talked about in today's video alongside over 150 codes here at the beginning of November. I am running a limited use discount code. The next seven of you now that sign up using discount code NOV30 will be able to take 30% off of whichever plan you decide to sign up for. I do run my service as a subscription model because every single week I add at least one new code. It's usually two, three, or four new codes, but I'm always adding and updating the codes on this website so that you remain on top of ever-changing market conditions. So obviously you can sign up for the monthly plan or the annual plan. The annual plan is gonna save you some money over your next 12 months of access to every new code I will add to the site. But more importantly, with the annual plan and with the annual plan only, you're going to be granted lifetime access to the official daytradingstrategies.net Discord server. I genuinely believe that the fastest way to become a better trader is to be in a community of like-minded traders, which is why I added this Discord server at no additional cost to my annual plan. This Discord server currently consists of 895 members. We're about to break the break 900. That is a lot of people that have signed up for the annual plan. And that's just a lot of eyes on the market. Always talking about in real time what stocks are moving. Always talking about what codes they are using. There's even a new code in here posted right now. I haven't even had a chance to look at this one yet. But just a great place to be for People like you, people like you that are going to have access to these codes, you will be able to have conversations about these codes and talk about trade setups that are happening in real time once you join this community of traders. So once again, the next seven of you that sign up using discount code NOV30 at checkout can get 12 months of access to every new code I add to this website, as well as lifetime access to the Discord for less than $280. Seems like a ridiculously good deal, so head on over to daytradingstrategies.net. Listen, at least go take advantage of the free codes. Once again, as I said in my little commercial, there's even a quick one minute video tutorial on how easy it is to import these codes. Shout out to Thinkorswim. They have made their platform extremely easy to share these kinds of custom codes. So go watch that video tutorial quick if you have any questions. Anyway, daytradingstrategies.net. Maybe read the reviews while you're over there. Help decide for yourself if this is something that can help make you a better trader. Sign up today and become a better trader immediately.